This is an overview of the text marquee effect by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag the text marquee widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it animates text in a scrolling horizontal effect for your promotions or stuff that you want to show on your website. So I'm going to take you over the settings, show you how you can customize this. The first setting is for text. You can change the text to whatever text you want. You can change the speed. So for example, if I want it to be faster, I'm going to change it from 10 seconds to 5 seconds. That's two times faster. To make it slower, you need to make the number bigger. So I'll change that to 20. And now it takes 20 seconds to animate. Over here, the default is enabling the link. So right now, this text is a link. So probably you're going to want to link your text to some kind of page or something like that, a promotion. And you could put your link over here. Inside of the Style tab, we have an option to change the typography. So for example, let's just change the font family to something else just so we can see that. And we can make that text a little bit bigger. You can also play with the, all the rest of the typography fields. We can add a border to our marquee over here. So let's just add a solid border just so we can see that. And you can add a background. So let's add a background color, for example. Let's go for something maybe like this. Awesome. And you can also add a background image and stuff like that. About the height of this, you can add padding to make it higher. So I'm going to unlink this and add some more padding on top and on the bottom, which looks cool. And if you want to constrain its width, if you don't want it to take full width of the column right now, the column is full width of the section, but you can play around with this slide over here. Right now I'm in pixels. So let's go for 50%. And now it's just half of the width of the column. So you can play around with this pixels percent. It's a responsive field. So set it any way you like. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.